It's been 12 minutes since we got this uh, number, and we haven't even discussed uh, what, what's happening in Washington, what the stimulus bill lo will or won't contain, or if the stimulus bill will even get passed. That may have the biggest impact on any of this. So what, what do you think needs to happen in the stimulus bill, and what kind of impact will that have in the months to come? Um, sure. So let me just say one thing, actually, about uh, the numbers. I think the numbers uh, are better than expected. I'm surprised, and, and uh, pleasantly so. But I would say one thing that um, I'm concerned about for the rest of the year is that um, we've already had a series of uh, reopenings and closings. And I think one of the potential consequences of that is that the next time around, when we do get control of the second spread, um, is that businesses and consumers aren't going to be as willing to jump back in as quickly. And so the concern with that is that the separations, if you extend the separations between workers and, and employers, you, you extend the duration of the recovery. And so my concern is this becomes, uh, that, that we move from what is a purely health crisis that has economic consequences to one in which even when we solve the health crisis, we still have an economic uh, problem at the other end. And so I think we have to get this right now. Um, uh, but I do, I am encouraged by the numbers. Um, and I think we are moving in the right direction. Uh, on the policy side, I think I'm more concerned about what's in the bill rather than the size of it. Uh, and I think the UI, the unemployment insurance component, is really important. I, I think a, an extension of the, the, the not necessarily $600 uh, bonus, but maybe something around $400 would be uh, acceptable. And I also think we need to see some kind of state and local uh, government relief. Uh, I would not... Uh, support. Uh, I don't think we need another uh, one-time payment uh, at this point. I don't think that's a necessary uh, element. Um, so I think the, the UI, uh, the extending the unemployment insurance, uh, and also the state and local would be the important uh, pieces of that. I, that. That probably makes a lot of sense. But Jason, um, that 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 one-time payment of $1,200 that we saw before that went to everybody making under a certain amount of money, that by far is the most popular item on any poll that we've seen in terms of what the voters want, and we are less than 90 days away from an election. So what do you think happens in Washington? Yeah, I think they're going to get it together. I think the Democrats have quite a lot of leverage because President Trump actually understands, I think understands better than a number of Republicans in Congress how much the money that people have gotten over the last several months supported the V-shaped recovery that we've seen in retail and food sales, how that's helped drive what we've seen in employment, and how that's needed um, going forward. So I expect, you know, I, I agree with Nada. I think there's room to go down from $600. I think $400 a week would be perfectly fine. I think it's important that they extend the number of weeks State and local, you know, the Republicans had 100 billion, the Democrats had 1.1 trillion. There's a lot of numbers between those two, and that's where I think it'll end up. Um, and yes, I do think people will get those checks. And, you know, somebody would sort of like belt and suspenders of policy approach to this. Um, I'm, I'm supportive of that because I, I'd rather err on the side of more than less. And consumers have been key to what we've seen in the labor market, what we've seen in the economy. And I'd like to continue to support them. Hey, Rick, the, um, the spending is adding up at a pretty rapid pace. We spoke with Steve Ballmer earlier. Uh, this Maybe it was this week or last week, the weeks run together. He pointed out that it's, it's tough to get your head around these types of numbers because you throw a trillion around, it's pretty easy. It rolls off your tongue. But what we're talking about spending on the stimulus alone is already something like a quarter, north of a quarter, of what we would spend just on the entire budget in any given year. We've had a lot of senators who have come on, Republican senators, who are not on board with what Mitch McConnell is saying or what the uh, what President Trump and the administration are saying on this point, too. And I just wonder how that kind of plays out, particularly in the Treasury market, because that's the one that would be most sensitive to any of this. Yeah, I think it plays out in a very large way, because I think you want to look at the currency first, see how the weakness in the dollar, of course, is gaining momentum. And this notion of it being an election year makes all the difference in the world. I think uh, the president does understand the dynamics of an election year. Nobody likes to turn down $1,200 checks, so I'm sure it will poll very well. But in the end, these deficits and the fact that we've invested, what, 15 to 18 percent of the total size of our economy is at stake with regard to fresh deficits, 
These numbers are getting so large that the, the Federal Reserve and all the central banks of the world are going to be dealing with an environment where debt is, is going to be competing uh, f to find a place and a home. It doesn't seem that way at this point. But do remember, even the Chinese now, their debt is becoming more popular. We're going to have to compete. And, and the competition, as time goes on, as the global economy shrinks its global GDP, because we all know that less productivity arrives when you have more debt, and general growth suffers when you have more debt. And that is going to be the dynamic moving forward. And I think, ultimately, taxes will have to go up. There will be no alternative. And despite all the debate and misgivings about how that issue affects the economy at large between independents, Democrats, and Republicans, the markets understand that if businesses and individuals pay more in taxes, the economy is going to grow at a slower rate.